What's up, everybody? This is Dark Mesa with Prettily Delicious, coming at you with a review of Fire Schwanz's brand new album, Warriors. Okay, so maybe it's not brand new, but it is newly released. And what we have here are, I can't remember if it's eight or ten of their old songs re-recorded with English lyrics and then two brand new songs, but it's new and it's fresh and we'll talk about it. For those who don't know, Fire Schwanz is a German band that has gained some notoriety for their crazy live shows and for being just a really fun party experience. They started out as a kind of send-up of German medieval rock whatever genres, but now they've kind of embraced metal, and they were one of the hour-long sets on 70,000 Tons of Metal's return last year. So this marks the 20-year anniversary of the band, though I think they've really only been in the zeitgeist for about five years or so. What is noteworthy is that the band has done a lot of, let's say, meme covers. They covered Dragostia Dinte, or whatever the hell the Numa Numa song is called. They covered Twilight of the Thunder God. What also is notable is that these are, to the best of my knowledge, their only English language songs. So here we are. A handful of songs from their back catalog with English lyrics. Going in, I thought this was going to be an autopilot review. And I'm not going to go through as many tracks as I normally do because, you know, these songs are already in my memory. But I was very pleasantly surprised at how different the experience was. And also the quality of the two new original songs. So as the album kicks off with a re-vocaled version of the song Highlander, I'm thinking, this just kicks ass straight out of the bat. It sounds very much like the Fire Schwans we know, and it doesn't sound like an afterthought. It's definitely really fun hearing songs like Memento Mori in English. That one in particular is interesting because Memento Mori is a Latin phrase. It has been used by other bands. The first one to come to mind is Any Means Necessary by Hammerfall. But hearing the lyrics in English definitely adds some depth to it. I had a similar thought with the song Song of Ice and Fire. This is another highlight on the album, of course. It's a bit less mysterious when the lyrics are in English. To be fair, foreign lyrics are a novelty. Like, that's basically why anybody likes Rammstein. But it's easier to connect to it when you can actually understand the lyrics. Now, on to the two new songs. Unholy Grail. Immediately, I'm thinking, there is much better singing on this track than I ever remember hearing in Fire Schwanz's discography or from when I saw them live last year. It's definitely a very fun band, and they're amazing live, but Fire Schwanz is not a band I've thought of as a vocal acrobatic exercise in the way of like Judas Priest. It's awesome that 20 years into a band's career, they are exploring this side, or maybe I just didn't know it. I just brought up Judas Priest, but they're the only other group I can think of that did something like that. And obviously, Rob Halford has always been an amazing vocalist, but 15 years into their career, they drop an album like Painkiller with just amazing vocal displays on every single track. Wow. Lastly, the other new track, Valhalla Calling. Amazing new song. This chorus sounds like it could have been a Power Wolf co-write. It's anthemic, it's powerful, it makes you want to start jumping. I'm specifically reminded of Demons Are a Girl's Best Friend. You could be doing a lot worse, Fire Schwanz. So I'm normally not a fan of re-records or remasters or re-releases being touted as something new. Like, I think Enemies of Reality getting remixed is the only one I can think of where I was like, oh damn, this is good. But I have to say, this brought a new dimension to the music. I, I was going in here thinking I was just going to listen to it in the background and try to find something nice to say. But I caught myself being like, wait, there's something new here. Unfortunately, when Sabaton released their Swedish version of Carolus Rex, I couldn't have a similar reaction because I don't speak Swedish. But thankfully, these guys got the message and released one that's aimed at me. All jokes aside, give this a listen. You might actually relate to the songs now and not just view them as German novelties. Great job. Rock on. This is Krista Makes, guitarist and vocalist for Less Than Jake, and host of Krista Makes a Podcast, a songwriting podcast where every week I'm joined by an amazing guest to break down the writing, recording, and release of one iconic song from their career. In our giant evergreen back catalog of episodes, we've had rock legends such as Dee Snyder and Huey Lewis, punk rock favorites like Mark Hoppus, Fat Mike, and Brett Gurowitz, and up-and-coming artists of today such as Liz Stokes of The Beths 
and Genesis Owusu. We've had guests from all genres and styles of music, and I guarantee that if you peruse our back catalog, you'll see several episodes that'll make you say, man, I gotta hear that. Whether you're a fan of music or a creator of music yourself, you'll take away a whole new appreciation for the songs you know and love. Chris Makes a Podcast is available for free on all the places you could possibly listen to podcasts, and new episodes come out every Monday.